uh, welcome to our YouTube channel where we are going to discuss today about uh, structural integrity. Uh, first, what's the structural integrity and uh, what is its purpose? Why would someone do a structural integrity and what are we usually ascertaining when carrying out the structural integrity? So, structural integrity refers to checking the critical elements of uh, different structures to see if they are strong enough or if they are to their maximum engineering requirements so that the structure can serve its purpose. Such elements include foundation, we could see the columns, uh, we could see slabs, staircases, roof, and anything that is composed of the structure. Under the foundation, we could see the um, pads, and we see if what was done or the state of the recurring structure meets its purpose. So that's what we carry out in structural integrity. We are checking the structural uh, states or different elements of an existing structure. So the structural integrity is done on an existing structure. So that's basically what we usually try to check. The purpose of the structural integrity. Uh, when we are doing structural integrity, we are trying to assess the strength of those uh, existing elements to see if the structure can withstand maybe occupants it can withstand or serve its purpose we can also tear the span lifespan of that structure that is being worked on its integrity so much of the work for it is to see the state of the structure if it can meet its what its purpose when we are carrying out the structural integrity so there are many things we do when we as someone has invited us to do a structural integrity for his existing project so there are steps we undertake one uh, the field people who go to the site to do the sampling of the structure one they is what you call visual inspection or condition assessment under condition assessment you see visibly and they check if the structure is okay the structures they invite you you find all the it has cracks you can easily see them you can see it has dampness you can see there are leakages so we first do what you call visual inspection to check the conditions of the structure then after that the materials we use for testing uh, we have what you call non-destructive testing materials then we have destructive testing materials. Sometimes you should cut them as NTDs and DTs. Under non-destructive uh, can, a bus can has different types, but it can be used to scan the bars which are used in that structure. We can have ultra ultrasonic testing, which helps us uh, in uh, checking. If there may be cracks in some areas you cannot access, then you can use what you call thermal imaging. So many different models based on the requirement. But for this project we are working on, we shall use a bus scanner to tell the bus as one of our non-destructive uh, machine that we shall use. Then we have destructive methodologies. This is where we expose the elements by breaking to check properly the strength for example we have to expose the pad by digging then we take requirements or we take all the samples using destructive methods there we expose it we have to crack maybe on the edges and you see how many bars were used and uh, in the pads what was the width of the pad the length and the depth so there we have used destructive 
as some people use uh, columns they just break them and uh, expose them so that they can easily uh, they can easily what see the bars which are used then we have other machines we use after exposing like the bone hammer it helps us to tear the concrete classes by getting uh, different readings and converting them to to the required standard using their different conversion rates based on each band hammer you use so basically that, those are some of the um, steps we undertake and after that we see on the importance of uh, a structural integrity why should someone carry out a structural integrity one it is for safety in case you're going to purchase a building you always have to check it to check its state before you invest in so you want to know can this structure serve my purpose some people use uh, less materials they use uh, 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 a fake uh, materials others use materials with less quality so a structural integrity will help you to tell the exact materials that were used in construction another reason uh, or purpose or importance of doing the uh, importance it can help you to estimate the real cost of a structure. If you want to purchase any structure, you the only way you can tell the cost is by carrying out the structural integrity. Then they do the analysis, they know the classes of concrete they are used. Someone can tell how many bags of cement you have used on a structure by carrying out the classes of concrete. And it does a backward calculations. So I can tell the cost of the structure, then you know. So it helps in cost savings, by the way, if you have done it. Uh, then another reason, it is co compliance. If you are going to have what you call occupation permit, they should say you carry out the structure integrity to confirm whether what was approved or designed is what was implemented. So you are complying with some councils. So some, they will request you to first carry out the structure integrity so that we can ascertain and know that it is on standard then um, uh, sometimes if you want to do continuity in construction assuming you have two levels you want to add extra three levels which you had not planned for you'll be requested to carry out a structure integrity so that you can easily and uh, know how, how strong is your structure which you have done then you see if you can add other structural uh, elements on top or other floors and you do the analysis so uh, that is some of the importance of the structural integrity so finally structural integrity is very critical if you're doing structures which are high raise if you're going to purchase a structure where it was maybe constructed in in your absence or if you are going to add the floor or you're going to add uh, an extra structure on an existing one or if you want to check the lifespan of a different structure which has existed for long and that is where structure integrity is majorly required so that is the whole purpose of the structure integrity